How's it going folks and welcome to changeangel.io, the swap exchange for social good. If you're watching this video, you're likely about to perform your first swap on Change Angel and unsure how to do so. So rest easy knowing that in this video, I will walk you through step by step how to perform your first swap. Before we get into that, just a quick mention on what that social good actually means. Every time you perform a swap on Change Angel, whichever coin you swap to, a portion of that transaction fee is donated back to that project to help them with development and marketing. So by using Change Angel, you help support the projects that you are most passionate about. And on top of donating back to the projects, Change Angel also donates to charities and they even attend events where they showcase and represent all of the projects that they have listed on their exchange. So before you perform your first swap on Change Angel, you will first need to sign in to your account. This is as easy as clicking on sign in up here in the corner. As you can see, Change Angel has two sign in methods. You can sign in using the traditional method with a username and a password, or you can use the more secure method of signing in using DigiID Antum ID. In this video, I'm gonna sign in using DigiID, and if you want to as well, you will first need to download the Digibyte mobile wallet for Android and iOS. It's as easy as going to the Google Play Store or the Apple App Store and downloading the Digibyte mobile wallet. Once that is downloaded and set up, all you need to do is scan that QR code that has been generated, verify with your thumbprint, and then you will be signed into your account. If you are a first time user of Change Angel, once you scan that QR code, Change Angel will recognize that it is a brand new Digi ID and it will prompt you to enter your email address. This is a one time thing and that email address is necessary for you to receive your transaction confirmations. Once your account has been set up for the first time, you will no longer need to enter that email address. All you need to do is scan that QR code and you will be signed in automatically. Again, this is the preferred method as it is more secure than a username and a password because it eliminates passwords altogether, which in turn makes it user friendly as well because you don't need to remember yet another password. So now that you have signed into your account, you can now choose which coins you want to swap from and the coin that you wish to receive once the transaction is complete. To choose the coin you want to swap from, you click on this top menu up here and as you can see there is a drop down menu of all of the different coins that Change Angel has listed. In this example, I'm gonna be swapping Litecoin for Digibyte. So I will be selecting Litecoin in this field above. If I wanted to receive something other than Digibyte, I would click on this drop down menu down here and pick a different coin that I wanted to receive. But again, in this video, I'm gonna be swapping to Digibyte. Once you have picked the two coins you want to swap from and receive, you need to enter the amount that you will be sending. In this example, I will be sending 0.4 Litecoin. And as you can see, the amount of Digibyte I will be receiving has already been populated here, 3,141. Now keep in mind that is an estimate based on the current market price and transaction fees. So this can fluctuate a little bit between now and when the transaction is complete. So if, once you are satisfied with the amount you want to send and receive, you simply click on exchange. You will then be prompted to verify once again the amount you want to send and receive. If you are satisfied with the swap amount, simply click on exchange. Now you'll be prompted to enter the receiving address. In this example, since I will be receiving Digibyte, I need to enter a wallet that supports Digibyte. So I will enter my Digibyte mobile wallet's receiving address in this line below. Once your receiving address has been entered, all you need to do is click on next. Now keep in mind, if you enter an address that cannot receive Digibyte or an address that cannot receive whichever coin you are trying to receive, your funds may be lost as it will send it to a wallet that does not support that currency. Next, you will be prompted to enter your refund address. If there is any issues that happen during the process of this transaction, you will be refunded your original investment. So, since I am swapping from Litecoin, I will be entering a Litecoin receiving address. Again, if I enter any receiving address that does not support Litecoin, the funds may be lost. So once my Litecoin receiving address has been entered, all I need to do is click on next. During step four, you will see all of the transaction details. It'll show you how much Litecoin I am sending, how much Digibyte I am receiving. Keep in mind that's an estimated amount. It will show me the receiving address for my Digibyte and it will show me my refund address for my Litecoin. If there are any changes that you want to make, please do so at this moment. 
By clicking on accept, you are acknowledging and understand that your transaction may trigger an AML or KYC verification according to the AML and KYC. Once you have clicked on accept, all you need to do is click on next. In the final process of your swap, all you need to do now is send funds to Change Angel to allow for that transaction to take place. In this example, I'm going to be sending my Litecoin from my Coinbase mobile wallet. So all I need to do is pull out that wallet, scan that QR code, and send the Litecoin on its way, and then the transaction will be complete. Once you have sent the funds, you are safe to log out of Change Angel, and the receiving address that you entered will receive the cryptocurrency automatically once the transaction has taken place. If you are interested in seeing the progress of your transaction, you can click on Swap History down here, and it will show you all of the details going on with your swap. So, hope you enjoyed this video, and happy swapping.